Hello everyone, two bits of ship related news for you here. First, we have this satellite image of a Project 2216 patrol ship in dry dock at Nova Rosisk. We saw this in dry dock before, but the image wasn't as clear. This was shared by MT Anderson on Twitter. And highlighted by him now, we can see signs of damage on the port side of the stern. It's impossible to tell the extent of the damage, but it does look like this was hit by a marine drone. This is like the Sergei Kotov, which was attacked in September and reported damaged by Ukraine. The ship had seemed to have disappeared, leading to a bit of speculation that she had actually sunk. Well, with no other recent reports of Project 2216 is attacked, this is likely her here. The seeming disappearance being that she was in transit back to Novo Rosisk. It was taken to Novo Rosisk because the dry docks at Sevastopol are in use. There are five dry docks at Sevastopol, two of which are holding the wrecks of the Minsk and the Rostov on Don. Two are seen here, one holding a Bora class hovercraft and the other a Sparta 4 cargo vessel, and one, seen on this image, holding the Matros Pozinich, another cargo vessel. So with Sevastopol's dry docks occupied, the Sergei Kotov looks like it was transferred to Novo Rosisk for repairs instead. Here's an image of a Kotov. She was commissioned in July 2022. So a very new ship. She managed to last a whole year in the Black Sea before getting hit by Ukraine. These ships carry out escort duties and patrol duties. Now, today's news. A number of reports online are saying that the Russian patrol ship, the Pavel Derzavin, has and I quote, blown up. An image of a pre-blowing up is here. I assume this ship had a close encounter with a Ukrainian marine drone. This is reported on a number of telegram channels, with some reports by local residents. Given the fact there's local chatter about it, this may actually have happened close to shore. Now, this isn't confirmed just yet. Some of these rumours do end up unfounded, such as claims that the Makrov got hit last year, for example, and the Ivan Kurz intelligence ship was reported damaged this year, but was fine. But some of the rumours are true. The Kotov, for example, looks like it's now confirmed, with a Project 22160 seen in dry dock showing signs of damage. And the Bora class hovercraft reported recently, but was rumoured hit, and was then photographed sagging at the rear. The Pavel Dazarvin is another Project 22160. Now if she's damaged, Russia could be in a bit of a pickle, because its dry docks in the Black Sea are all now occupied. Two, the ones holding the Minx and the Rostov on Don will be unusable for quite a while. So if this attack is confirmed, then the Pavel Dazarvin will have to join the queue before she can be repaired. However, the report did say blown up, so she may have actually joined Russia's ever-growing submarine fleet just yesterday, they added a Brem armoured recovery vehicle that fell into a pond to it. That one was likely the replacement for the Minsk. Now, a Project 22160 was confirmed to be in Sevastopol on the 9th, shown on this satellite image here, shared by MT Anderson. Russia has four of these ships in service, one we just saw in dry dock being repaired, likely the Kotov, one we just saw on satellite imagery at Sevastopol. The final two are confirmed to be at Nova Rosisk. One seen near the subpen, highlighted in red here. The other, near a Rapua class ship, also at Nova Rosisk, highlighted here. So if the Dazarvin can be confirmed as destroyed, then Russia has just two of these left in service, and these are important ships which escort Russia's tankers and cargo vessels through the Black Sea. They also carry out important patrol operations, guarding Sevastopol and the Crimean Bridge from marine drones. This one, it appears, may have bravely intercepted the marine drone with itself. So that's it for this video. I'll do an update if we get one. Now, before we go, I'm going to play a message from the Ukraine Volunteer Center about a recent fundraiser which we're doing. Thanks very much and take care, everybody. Good afternoon, greetings from the Ukrainian Volunteer Center. Today we are announcing a new fundraising. One Volkswagen uh, Tauric 
car for paramedics on uh, Donix direction. They desperately need a car as all their vehicles were damaged during the last attack on their position. Car price is ten thousand dollars uh, and uh, one thousand liters of diesel fuel for third separate battalion of Ukrainian volunteer army moving because there is a catastrophic lack of fuel. The fuel at war is like a blood that circulates in the logistics artery. Without it, we won't be able to achieve our goals. Fuel price is $1,500. Recently, soldiers from aerial reconnaissance on the Zaporizhia direction contacted us and they need a mask for the antenna to fly 100 first aid kits and uh, its price $1,200. The overall goal of the fundraising is uh, $10,000 and $4,000. We read uh, your comments. That's why we have decided to make a uh, two short of glasses uh, sets. And the first one will be sent to the person who will make the biggest donation and the second we will send to a random person who will make a donation starting from twenty dollars. Thank you all of you kind words in the comments. Thank you for your trust and thank you for your support. Glory to Ukraine.